What's going on, friends? It's TJ, another episode of THC and NFTs, and we're back with another smoke break. But before we get into that, check out this intro. Change, looking for pain, pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane, pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh, I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Uh, expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. You got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This life is all a right, lesson. Got a new entry, Today's episode of the lesson. Smoke Break, we are minting Sprite Club NFT. I was fortunate enough to get in on the raffle. Um, I did not pre, I did not get in on the pre, the Sprite list, I guess it was called, which was the pre mint. And the reason why was I was sketched out by the uh, registering with having to have a certain amount of ETH in my wallet. Um, it, not because they were a scam, but there was scams going around at that time, and there currently still are. But this project was completely legit. The mint was super dope. And I had another episode that I was going to do today, but I feel like this minting process and the way this went down was so beautiful that I have to share it, and this has to be the episode. So the, the way it goes down is you get a series of questions and the series of questions determines the class of Sprite you mint. So in this video, you're gonna see um, a really well done mint process with a really well animated, I guess, storyline. And it, it felt really interactive. I really enjoyed it. It was really awesome. And I think you're all gonna enjoy it too. So please uh, enjoy the video. This was the time in which I wanted to die. It was freshly spring cool, summer peaked his head early. Wasn't wordy, kept a meeting round 11.30. Laura's speech just understand that she ran like a derby. You cannot claim the can and run about here in a hurry. How the hell I make it home, homie, I never know. But here is a memory I remember Two minutes. Sure. Two, Two minutes. And in that moment gave a sigh out. So, we'll, we'll find out right now, I guess. Only so much time, so I chill. Tomorrow never promised, but I'm breaking motors in my own mind. Got drop like chauffeurs and talent, only talent till you exercise skill. Only so much time. Oh, yo, yo, I'm in there. And if I'm taking early hope, it shall forever quote. And if my oh, oh, let's open the letter. Let's open the letter. When I wake up, reminisce about the all right, all right, all right. Now just sit down and write some real shit. Hold on. I got me enough tracks under my belt. All right. After receiving a mysterious invitation to an organization known as Sprite Club, you prepare to follow the puzzling directions you were given on the car to a location you've never heard of before. As specified, you wait until it's dark outside before you prepare to leave your house. As you are by the door, it's time to decide what shoes you will wear for the occasion. A. Whoever you might encounter, you'll want to stand out. You're not the boring type, so you'll grab yourself a stylish pair of shoes. Ooh, that, that's me right there. You're already for all terrain, athletic, nah. Comfort is king, you sl no. Who knows, the dangerous could lie ahead, but you feel prepared for anything in your sturdiest boots. I used to wear, I do wear boot slots, but uh, you better wear a pair of shoes that are dark and generic, all better to blend in and escape quietly. Ooh. Yeah, if we're going into the dark outside, let's see. I, I think I think I'm rocking the dark to be able to escape. That, that's me. I'm rocking some some dark shoes. This is a pretty dope mint process. I'm really vibing on this. After following the, conf the confusing directions on the card, you are surprised to discover the location isn't far from where you live. When you arrive, you find yourself at the entrance to a small forest you never knew existed. The wooded area is fenced off, and as you reach the gate, you find it's unlocked, but decorated with a sign saying, Private property, do not enter. How do you proceed? What sign? You definitely didn't see anything. Plausible deniability is the key. Einstein once said, the only source of knowledge is experience. Anyways, 
you came all this way already, so why not head in? There's got to be something really good in there, otherwise why so hard to deter people? You sure as hell aren't going to let someone else beat you. Screw it. It seems fun. I'm going in. This sign feels like a dare. You know what? I like Einz. Knowledge is an experience, you know? So I'm all about the knowledge. All about the knowledge. Sneaky knowledge so far. You know, I'm all about that sneak. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at the shrooms. We got some shrooms popping up. Little golden shrooms. Oh, vibey. Vibey. We're vibing. You walk into the forest and feel the air cool by several degrees as dark canopy of trees loom over you. The forest floor is a tangle of weeds that must have been untouched by humans for decades, but you can faintly make out the form of a stone path winding ahead of you. Just as you begin to follow the path deeper into the woods, you spot a patch of strange colorful mushrooms growing in the shrubbery. What do you do? They could be toxic or they could be a really, really fun time. Only one way to find out, and you are hungry anyways, you'll take a big bite and see what happens. Nature is amazing. You take a single mushroom as a memento, but leave the rest so you are not harming the forest. I, I, I like that. Wow, you, are, you wonder what these do. You'll pull them out of the ground to investigate when you get home. Wonder if they're psychedelic. If they are poisonous, they could be useful in the future. <laughs> well, a number of purposes. They could be poisonous. It would be foolish to touch them. I'll leave them alone. Um, I think what we'll do, I, I, I like the memento, you know, we'll take one. I don't want to fuck with the forest too much, but we'll take one, you know, we'll take one, see what it's like. We'll vibe with it. Ooh, ooh, we got trippy eyes, trippy eyes. This is a dope minting process. I, I'm vibing with this process right here. You continue on f for a while. <laughs> You continue on for a while down the path as the forest only thickens around you. The deeper you travel, the darker it becomes. You have a creeping sensation that you are being watched and a couple of times even see it seems to catch a glimpse of bright eyes glinting between the trees, branches, or in the bushes. Creepy, creepy. Oh, it's a bear. It's a bear. Watch out for the bear. Hi, bear. Hi, bear. Just as you are shrugging off these paranoid delusions, the sound of an animal stops you dead in your tracks. You look to see a form of a young bear standing directly ahead of you, blocking your passage down the stone path. Just as you notice the bear, you are noticed in return and locked eyes with it. What do you do? Take a strong stance and stay on your toes, ready to run. You'll reach, the house, you'll reach for the house keys in your pocket and use as a makeshift weapon, but only if you have to. Talk to him in a loud, friendly tone while offering him half of the sandwich you brought with you as a snack. Slowly crouch to the ground, collect some rocks to throw at him to try to create a diversion. Softly start to hum a soothing tune to attempt to lull the bear to sleep. Stay still, but bow your head slightly and lower your gaze as a sign of mutual respect. Why is this one purple? Oh. Yeah, I think we're going to stay still, bow our head. We don't mean him no harm. The bear sits still, watching you with the inscrutable, inscrutable expression. After a minute or so, he gets to his feet and approaches. Scared but re resolute, you stretch out a cautious hand. The bear lowers his head and gives you a few inquisitive sniffs before lazily licking your palm. You take the opportunity to ask him if he knows what lies in store for you on your journey. His eyes, the he eyes the path ahead, pauses for a moment, and seems to give an approving grumble. Taking this as a good enough sign, you give him a friendly scratch and get back on your way. Hi, bear. Goodbye, bear. Ooh, we got more shrooms. We got more shrooms. We Are we vibing? Are we vibing right now? You continue down the path for who knows how long. Time seems to have lost all meaning, however, you don't feel tired. And steely dis determination sets in a little longer with every step you take. You barely even notice that the forest is slowly morphing around you with strange and vibrant flowers and mushrooms appearing with more and more frequency the further you travel. Finally, the trance light stake you've entered subsides and you begin to notice a curious light 
emanating down the path ahead of you. When you reach its source, you come upon a large portal and some kind of pulsating and of some kind pulsating with energy. Somehow you know you must enter. Vibe in. Ooh, what 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 are we? I love po I love po uh, potions. Okay. Just as you begin to step towards the portal, you notice an array of curious items resting on a toadstool along with a sign saying, simply choose one of for your adventure. What do you choose? A small but beautiful adorned lyre strumming a tune completely independently. A vial filled with some unknown fragrant smelling potion. An ex expertly crafted dagger carved with a curious symbol. A dusky metal key that emanates sinister energy. A brightly polished compass whose needle strangely swings around and and point directly to you instead of north. Ah, sinister. I don't know. I, I, I like the key. What, what will the key get us into? You know? Let's do the key. When your item firmly in your hand and look around for the forest one last time, your final deep breath, brace yourself, jump. Your adventure is just beginning. There are five classes of sprites, adventure, mystic, warrior, rogues, and muses. Which class are you? So we're going to mint. And we're vibing. And we're vibing. Went in our, our sprites minted successfully. That's what I'm talking about. All right, friends. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really enjoyed the mint and the sprite club and a T team. Great job. Great work. So excited to see you reveal. Um, your whole team's doing an amazing job. Keep it up, friends. And until next time, my friends, stay blessed. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.